Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at an application for your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch called Unity. Open up Unity and it's going to sign you in with your account. And what you'll need to do before you can actually make use of this is to install Unity on another device such as another iPhone, another iPod, another iPad, or even your Mac or PC. Because what Unity is going to allow you to do is stream or share any files that are on any one of your devices. So if I open up the side menu here, you can see I have music, videos, photos, and files. These are gonna be anything that's on another device that's using Unity. It's gonna be able to share those files with each one of your devices. So when I tap on music, it's, I have artists, albums, anything that you would expect with any music. And if I tap on any one of these, it's going to show me all of the music that I'm sharing from one of my other devices. Now currently I have Unity running on my Mac and I have it here on the iPhone. And this is now allowing me to take all of the songs, artists, videos, files, whatever it is on the computer and share it amongst all my devices. And if I even tap on one of the songs, you see I can go ahead and tap on it and play it. I see all the detail information, tapping on it again, it's going to start playing and load in the song and then stream this straight from my Mac or other device right onto the device I'm using. Now come back in here and notice in the bottom left hand corner we have this blue arrow. Tap on that and what you can do is turn Unity into kind of a peer to peer network as well. So I can download this song straight to my device or I can even choose to share it with all of my friends and contacts. So now what we're going to do is tap on the song we want to share, we'll tap the share button and I can either choose from my friends, my contacts or I can even choose my friends from Facebook and then share it with them that way so they'll be able to download it. And this isn't uploaded anywhere else, it's just going to be straightly sent to them with a link to download it right from your device. Now we'll come back out to the main menu. If we come into videos, you see I have the same options for videos. It even kind of changes the color at the top of the screen to let you know what category you're in. Notice that color kind of coincides with the icon over here. So music was yellow, tap on videos, that one's red tap on photos, it's going to be purple. So you're always going to know what category you're in based upon the color at the top of the screen. So on videos, it's the same thing. I can go ahead and tap and see all the videos on my other device, tap and load it in, and it's going to start playing the video and streaming it right to my iPhone. So there's the video. I even have all my classic playback controls. I can scrub through the video, pause it, skip back 30 seconds, and even skip to the next video. So go ahead and tap done. We'll come back in here. Let's go ahead and view photos. I've got a few different folders on my computer that I'm sharing with, and I can see all the photos that are accessible by this device. Notice in any one of these uh, menus that we're in, in the top right hand corner, I can tap up there, sort my filters, I can sort by A to Z, Z to A, change my date ranges, view folders first, view downloaded files, and even view available files. And then if I've downloaded files to the device, I can also remove all the local files to save some storage on the device that I'm streaming from. So open up the side menu again, and I can come into files, and so you see I have all the folders I can do. And again, the sharing option is also across all these other tabs as well. I can share folders, I can share files, I can download them to my device, and open them up in Unity. Now the way that you're going to do all these things is come into your settings. You see I've signed in with my username and account. I can see how much disk usage I'm using. But the main thing is down here below. I have my sharing linked up with Facebook and contacts. And then you see all the devices I have access to with Unity. So right now I've got the iPod and I've got the Mac. And this is going to allow me to stream and sync files back and forth between the two devices. Now if I wanted to sign in with another iPhone or even an iPad or another Mac or iPod, they would show up here as well and then I can use all of these different devices to sync all of my content across them and then even stream directly from other devices to one device. And with music, I can even change the music quality to have best available audio so it's going to stream directly from the device in the best quality it can. And then in the side menu, I can come and jump into currently what's playing. And then I also have a search field in here where I can search for any specific music, video, photo, or file that I'm looking for. So once again, this application is called Unity. If you like it, pick it up for your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch in the App Store.